Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning into this video. Um, before you guys get started, uh, I just want to make a quick announcement that I've been doing at a lot of the start of my videos. Um, we're trying to get to 100 subscribers before April 1st, so it's getting closer and closer, and we're doing pretty good. We've gotten quite a bit of subscribers. The stats have been going up. Um, but I've also noticed in my statistics that like 90% of you watching aren't subscribed. So if you guys aren't subscribed, be sure to smash that subscribe button. Um, it's very much appreciated. So. Yeah, enjoy the video. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Elijah Baseball here, and today I'm going to be showing you the fastest, easiest, quickest ways to break in a baseball glove. Um, so I've got four baseball gloves right here. These are actually, three of them are mine. One is my dad's. I'm just using it as an example. Um, and I have a couple different methods over here that I'm going to be showing you um, how to use them, and if you should use them, and if you shouldn't use them. Um, and these are all very good tips on breaking in your baseball glove. Um, so yeah, make sure to subscribe as you guys saw right before this and like this video and turn on little notifications so you guys don't miss any of the videos. Um, uh, I try to make good quality content, so yeah, let me know in the comments if you, um, would like any videos. So, yeah. Um, okay, the first thing that I'm going to suggest, um, uh, which is probably the most common one, it's kind of common sense, um, show you here is this mallet so super cheap um just got it it's a rawlings mallet oh my gosh <laughs> it's a rawlings mallet um again like i said it was not very expensive at all it's got basically this this serves the function of a baseball um so it's a much faster way to do this without playing catch um this is my 44 glove right here super awesome glove um i made a video on that a link will be in the description um, but really all you do with this, um, I'm sure most of you are familiar, but if you're not, all you do is you just bang it right into the pocket there. And what you're really trying to do is you're trying to basically, uh, make it seem like it's being hit with a baseball because all of us know that playing catch obviously breaks in a glove. Um, which I will get to later, but basically it's super simple. You just whack this very easy, much faster. Um... And it serves a great function because it forms the pocket and it forms the palm. So, as you can see, this glove has been formed pretty well. Um, it's basically that straight there, exactly what you want. So, yeah, love it. Next thing that I'm going to show are these breaking bands. These are awesome. You can get these, I think they're on eBay, I'm pretty sure I saw them. That's where I saw them last. Um, I they're probably everywhere else that you guys can find, but they were on eBay, <laughs> so, um, I'm sure they're on Amazon, probably, they're probably on some baseball website, I don't even know, but these are really, really awesome, basically what you do, I'll use this glove, um, you wrap them around, just like so, and you let this form that here, and I have two, so what I'm going to do with the other one is I'm going to do it the exact opposite. So I'll put this here. Sorry, you guys can't see this great. It's kind of hard to do, but it works really well. You put that there like that, and you basically have an X there, but it really helps. And again, make sure that you're doing with this with at least one to two balls in there. Make sure one's in the pocket and one's in the palm. Um... But this is really great. I'll put the link to buy these in the description if I can find them anywhere. Um, again, though, this is my A2000, another great glove. Um, check out that video up there. I talk about breaking in um, my Wilson A2000, um, just specifically for the Wilson A2000, because there's some things that you don't do with other gloves that you might do with the A2000, and there's also some things that you don't want to do with the A2000 that you would do with other gloves. So be sure to watch that video if you are here with an A2000. Um... Alright, next thing that I'm going to talk about is the way that you store your glove. Um, this is a very important factor on really forming your glove the right way. This doesn't really... I'm sorry. This doesn't necessarily break your glove in faster, but it breaks it in correctly, and that's a very important factor. You don't want to break in your glove quickly, but not do it correctly. Uh, if you're breaking in a glove the wrong way, but you got it done fast, it's not going to work very well for you later down the road. Now, this is a glove that I've had for probably close to three years now. Um, it's a nice glove, but I didn't do a great job of forming it. As you can see, 
it's not the best on this side here, especially it's kind of coming in there and it's very floppy. So obviously I broke this in very, very quickly, but I didn't do a great job of storing it correctly. Um, until I figured out that when you're storing a glove, you want to put it like this. Every time that you're storing it, if it's in a bag where you have a glove pocket, then I would suggest putting two balls in it, like I said earlier, and storing it like this, or like this, so that it forms those pocket and palm. Uh, the other thing that you do, like I said on here, put a ball in there every time you do this. You don't want to do this without a ball because it will basically flatten your glove and it will end up looking like that. And that's not what you want. So this is kind of an example of what happens when you don't take very good care of a glove. And it's not like this glove is a horrible glove, though. Um, I got a pretty good deal on this glove, and it's served me very, very well. Um, I really love it. So, yeah. All right. Um, the fourth thing that I'm going to tell you all is to not use too much oil, especially on an expensive glove. Um, I also talk about that on my Wilson A2000 video. With these, you don't hardly oil these at all, and it seems surprising to people, but it also weighs down your glove, so you don't want to necessarily do that. It can also affect the colors on certain gloves. For example, my 44 glove here, I haven't really oiled this at all because it will bleed the colors and ruin your glove. Uh, if you are going to oil a 44 glove, I would suggest using 44 oil. They have their own oil that is very, very very cool. It basically is much different than other oils and basically does the same thing except it doesn't bleed the colors. Uh, the last thing that I'm going to suggest, and this brings in my last glove, is to play catch. Now, like I said earlier, I would get to this. And playing catch, you can also just use this mallet. Works basically the same way. But I think playing catch, not only does it um, help your transitions when actual baseball, um, and not only does it help you to see the ball, eye-hand coordination, it affects a lot of things. You should play catch a lot, really, like three times a week, four times a week, five times a week. I mean, you really should play catch almost every day. Um, it's a great thing to do, and also if you're getting a new glove, even if you can't catch with the glove, even if it's stiff, super stiff, <laughs> then you need to play catch, okay? These all will work, the bands will work, the mallet will work, but the most important, in my opinion, is to play catch, because it works on your hand strength, squeezing the glove, which you don't do with the mallet. It also works on catching the ball in the pocket, which will also form your pocket. So there's a lot of things that might not even break in your glove, but it'll actually help you become a better baseball player just by playing catch a lot. So those are my five things that are very fast, very easy, and very quick, and very cheap. So, yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Um, smash that like button. Let's try to get this video to 50 likes if we can. That would be absolutely awesome. Yeah, I think that will do it. Thanks so much for watching again, and I will see you next time on Elijah Baseball. Bye.